Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got for you another try on haul. I am absolutely loving doing these at the minute. However, today's try on haul has a slightly different twist. You've probably seen these going around YouTube. I love watching them, but basically I've set myself a set budget of 300 pounds and I'm gonna be testing whether I think Miss Pap are worth spending your money on or not. Miss Pap is a website that I've never bought from before. I've seen it a lot on Instagram, but to be honest, I always thought, I'm definitely not cool enough for Miss Pap. But I thought, you know what, Hannah? Stop putting yourself down. Try it out and see how it goes. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Miss Pap have kindly gifted me some of the items for this haul. I've got a lot to get through, so let's get started. I tried to plan outfits in my head as I was buying them, so I'm gonna show you one whole outfit at a time. I don't know if the outfits I've put together are gonna look good or if it's gonna be a complete shambles, but I guess we'll see. So I'm gonna start off with one of my favorites. I think this first item is probably my favorite item in this haul. It is this pair pair of green trousers. They're high-waisted, they're very wide leg, they're very stretchy. They've got a zip up the side, which I really like. You don't have to wiggle into them, they're really easy to get into. I'm not very brave with my trousers, so when I saw these, I thought that's quite a nice medium. It's not too bold, but it's also not boring. So for me, these would be like the statement piece in an outfit. So that's my first item. I need to get the prices up, I'm not prepared at all. These trousers are £25. Immediately when I opened them, I thought those feel like they're worth way more than £25. They feel really good quality. I am very impressed with these. And to go with the trousers, so the top that I chose, oh my gosh, how does this work? I think I'm gonna have to insert a picture because it is so difficult to understand when it's not on. It's kind of like an off-white, it's kind of ivory, but I just think with the high-waisted trousers, this will look lovely. Again, this feels really nice quality. On all of the things I've got from Miss Pat, there have been no loose threads, no holes, no makeup on it, nothing. By the way, I'm not being paid to make this video, they just gifted me some of the items, so obviously my opinion says completely honest, but I have genuinely just been really impressed. I think there's a reason the bloggers rave about Miss Pap. <laughs> and this top was £20. For the shoes for this outfit, I felt like it needed a light coloured heel, because the trousers are dark, so I opted for this pair of heels. How cool are they? This is the first pair of metallics that I've ever got. Again, we've got a nice sturdy block heel because you know this girl can't walk in heels. They smell a little bit funny, I'm not gonna lie, but like they're on your feet. That smell ain't gonna be reaching your nose anytime soon. And these heels are 30 pounds. And then a section that I've been loving on clothing websites recently, is earrings. I think especially with off the shoulder tops, tassel earrings or earrings of that sort look really nice. And I actually found the perfect pair of earrings for this outfit on Miss Pap. So they look like this. They are these green drop earrings. I don't know, is that what you call them? Exactly the same color green as the trousers. I just think it would match perfectly. I love matching my outfits with little subtle details like that. So I'm feeling these little earrings so much. And these velvety earrings are only six pounds. But I also saw another pair of earrings on the website that I fell in love with. You could wear these earrings with so many different outfits. But again, I think these would look nicest with this outfit. So they are these white tassel earrings, but they're a little bit fancier tassels. I think with a tan, if you're on holiday as well, these would look great. And these earrings are also six pounds. And then the final item that I've picked out to go with this outfit is a little bag. Because when choosing this outfit, I noticed that I don't have any white small bags at all. So this is what the bag looks like. As you can tell, like against my jumper, again, it's more like an ivory color. This bag was 20 pounds. I got a couple of bags from Miss Pat and I'm so impressed with the quality. It's got three different sections inside. It's just quilted, it's nice. I just love it and I think it will look super cute against the green trousers. So that is my first outfit. So now I'm gonna show you what it looks like on. Okay, so this is the first outfit. I absolutely love this one. Unfortunately, the heels are too big for me. I have tried them. And without the heels, these trousers look too long. But like, if you can imagine it with heels on, then they fit perfectly. The only thing is they are a little bit big for me. I think because they're stretchy, but I'll probably get my mum to put a little stitch in there and then they'll be fine. The top took me so long to figure out but now that I've got it down, I really, really like it. It actually keeps you a lot more covered than I was expecting. I think it looks really nice at the back. The bag looks really nice with it. I think it's a nice contrast with the dark trousers. But if you imagine it like with some nice heels, I think this would look really, really nice on like a classy evening. Also, these are the first earrings with this outfit. I love these so much. They are the perfect shade of green for these trousers. And these are the second pair, which I absolutely love. I'm a big fan of Miss Pap's earrings so far. Moving on to the second 
second outfit. Next up, we've got one that is a lot more casual. Or I mean, I guess you could dress it up. So the first item is a pair of white jeans. I am yet to find a pair of white jeans that aren't see-through. I'm not sure what these are gonna be like. They feel quite lightweight, but they don't look see-through. These ones have slits on the knees, which I really like. I think that look really nice if you fake tanned your knees. Don't worry about anywhere else, but as long as you've done your knees and your ankles, you're good to go. I just hope that by the time the summer comes around, I've found a pair of white jeans. Please, Miss Pap, let these be the ones. And to go with them, I have picked out such a cute little top. So I don't normally go for a colour like this. It's quite a bold statement for me, but I figured in the summer, when I'm getting spray tans every couple of days, then this might actually look really nice. So it is this wrap around crop top. It's got an elasticated waist, which is really unusual. I really like that. I've seen similar tops of this in River Island and I almost got one. So I'm glad that I found this one now. They've got little bell sleeves. I love a little bell sleeve. I think they look so classy, so cute. You could either wear this with some white vans or some white converse or you could wear it with something like the silver heels and dress it up a little bit so this top was 15 pounds which i think is such good value for this if again it feels really nice quality okay this one i'm so upset about this these jeans are perfect the only thing is and this is completely my fault like i was born this way I have really long legs, so all the time, the slit on the knee is too high on me. If these were like in a tall section, 100%, I would absolutely love it, like new favorite jeans. The fit of them is really nice. Look at the knee, look. It's just because I've got really long legs, it's so annoying, but by the ankles really tight. Is it just me or are they not see-through? Maybe like a tiny bit. I've got white underwear on, which isn't always the best idea. I have found that if you can get some sort of like nude, seamless underwear, works every time but this top i really like this it's so cute so comfy so easy to wear this is personally how i would style this outfit with some little hoop earrings and some kind of little white trainers if you've got normal length legs i would highly recommend investing in these white jeans the next item oh my goodness is one of my favorite items in this haul look how cute she is so this little top was 20 pounds as you can see obviously it's cropped it looks really bright red on camera but it's actually quite a dark red which i really like about it it's got the frills on the sleeves and all down the top and down the back as well it looks so cute i thought this would look really nice paired with a high-waisted pair of black wide leg trousers which i didn't actually pick up from his pack because i've already got a pair and like they're just black trousers but i think this would look really nice with that or in the summer this would look really cute with high-waisted black denim skirt i can see it i can see that happening i got this in a size 10 but looking at it i think i could have got on away with a size 8 so i'll have to see how well it fits me but i really love the style of this okay this top is such a winner for me. I absolutely love this. I think this frill needs taming a little bit. It's a little bit out there. And I think I could have sized down with this just because around the shoulders, it's a bit baggy. Like I could get away with this, but I think I'm gonna order the size below. It's actually quite a lot longer than I thought. See, it comes down to here and it just looked a bit funny. So I just tucked that end bit in. I'd probably take this bag. This bag's from Quiz. My trousers are from Pretty Little Thing and I've just got some little black heels on from New Look. I think I'd probably take this bag if I was like going out for a meal or something. But I think if I was like going out out, then I'd take this bag because then you can just, you just pop it over and you're good to dance. Whereas this one, you've got to hold it the whole night, which is a bit annoying. So classy little meal, out out. <laughs> and I just thought this has potential. If you're going to quite a fancy event, little diamante choker instantly the level of class has increased and then another top I picked up I also thought would look really nice with the same trousers or actually this would look nice with just plain black jeans but it's this burgundy there's always a bit of burgundy in my hauls burgundy wine colored blouse type top which ties at the front it kind of like wraps around and ties I'll insert a picture of the model the color of this is actually called wine if you have a look at it on the website and this is 22 pounds I don't know what to feel about this top so I've got the same trousers and the same heels on I swapped the choker to this plain black velvet one just from Primark and I feel like with this one this bag goes quite nicely with it because this is like a blousy material but I was expecting this bit to be longer which I liked because I thought then it would be like, oh, a pretty little bow, but it just kind of looks a bit stumpy. <laughs> so I'm not the biggest fan of this one, but again, I've actually got another fluffy bag that I could always use with this one, although I don't feel like this one vibes very well with this top. Both the fluffy bags are from Quiz. And then the third top that I thought would look really nice with the same trousers is very similar to the last actually, but it's this brighter red. This one is a little bit more cropped than the rest. It's a little bit more daring. So I'm feeling maybe underneath this to go with some kind 
kind of lace black bralette to make kind of like a statement rather than a you can see my bra but I also can't cope without a bra and this one was 15 pounds I'm so excited to try this on for me wearing the color red just does things for my confidence <laughs> okay this one I'm really feeling as you can see I've like styled it a little bit underneath I'm actually wearing this bralette from Victoria's Secret it's this halter neck lacy one I really like the little bit of black peeping through and the fact it's like scalloped I think it looks really cute I think this might be one of my favorites so far this is what I meant about the length of the ribbon on the last one I don't think I'd wear any jewelry with this just because I'd let the halter neck bralette like do its thing I would just contour up my collarbones like to the absolute max and be done with that I like it I like it a lot moving on to the next outfit now we've got something a lot more cash but one of my faves love a bit of comfort it is a tracksuit miss pap have got the nicest selection of tracksuits i've ever seen i feel like all of their joggers you can dress up or you can just wear it to be comfy at home so these are the trousers that they are just plain black and they've got this white panel down the side it's actually quite a thick panel if you can see that the bottoms of them are a little bit cuffed not like elasticated but they are cuffed which is good enough for me but the top of them is elasticated super comfy super stretchy they've got this white tie which i would tie into a bow and with them comes the matching top it is this cropped hoodie again it's got the same white tie the same white panel i just think wearing these two things together with some white vans just can't go wrong that is such an easy outfit to wear and it actually would look stylish well it looks stylish on the model anyway <laughs> and this set together was 35 pounds or another thing that you could wear with them I picked these up for in the summer. I think I'm going to get so much wear out of these. I've got these cute little sliders. They've got like faux fur on them. Not going to lie, I've tried many sliders in the past and all of them have been returned because they're just not comfortable. They feel like you're walking on literal planks of cardboard. But these ones are so comfortable. I honestly was a little bit shocked when I tried these on because they're like squidgy on the bottom. They've got like a raised bit that like goes in between your toes, if you know what I mean. The bottoms of them are actually shaped. Whether you're just gonna wear them out in the garden or whether you'd wear them out and about, it is totally down to you. Oh my God, I love this stuff so much. Okay, so this is the tracksuit on. The bottoms fit really nicely. I really like them. And I've got my cute little sliders on, which I love. The top, however, look how short the arms are on me. <laughs> To be fair, I've got long arms, but these are exceptionally short. But there's nothing a little scrunch up can't fix. Moving swiftly on to my next outfit. Again, we've got another little cash one here. Little black denim skirt. What we're saying, what we're saying. Absolutely love this. It's like distressed at the bottom a little bit. I like that it's high waisted. And also I got this in a size eight and it looks like it would fit me perfectly. Stretchy McStretchy pants. This skirt was 20 pounds. I feel like you can dress it up. You could wear it with a little cute bodysuit or you could wear it with something like I've chosen. Like I said before, I think that little red frilly top would also look really cute with this. Like I'm a big fan of the thought of that. I'm trying to get more into my skirts because I've never been much of a skirt person. But this year I will be. Watch this space. Things are about to get exciting. <laughs> And to go with that, I thought I'm going to stay casual. So I've got this cropped red sweatshirt. It's like a raw hem at the bottom, like someone's just snipped the bottom of it off. It's got nice long sleeves. The sleeves are cuffed at the end. It'd be really nice for like those summer evenings when it's getting a little bit chillier. How much were you, little red sweatshirt? This was eight pounds. What a bargain. Love it. I love you. I do. I just, I will wear you so much with my jeans, with my skirt. This will get a lot of wear. This skirt, oh my God, new favourite skirt ever. Look at the stretch in it. How mad is that? <laughs> I really like that it's like a bodycon stretchy denim skirt. It's so flattering. Again, I've paired it with my white vans. The next item is something as beautiful as the rest. That was my introductory jingle. Look at this skirt. This is me being a skirt person. If I was a skirt, I'd want to be this one. You've probably seen on Instagram this popper trend. You can actually unpop it. So if you want like a little side split on your skirt, you can just unpop some poppers. Again, it's got a nice little zip down the side. I just think for the summer, this is going to be beautiful. And it feels a really lightweight material as well. And this was £25. It comes in a few different colours. It comes in black with a red stripe. It comes in green with a red stripe. Or it comes in a wine colour with a black stripe. But I like the orange because it's quite bright. It's quite out there. And to go with it... I've chosen a top that's quite formal, but I'm now second guessing my decision. I think in the summer I'd quite like to wear this with a casual black crop top, but alas, I have gone for something 
which is a staple in my wardrobe. We have another black crop top which ties at the front, but this one doesn't like wrap around, it just ties in a knot at the front. Here is a picture. This top was £20 and again, comes in a variety of colours. The material feels really nice, it feels really thick, it's not see-through at all, it's not like a blouse material, but even if I decide they're not right together, then I can wear this top with anything else. I think I was right when I said that this top wouldn't go with this skirt. I mean like, obviously the colour's fine because it's just black, I just don't think the two vibes go. However, the skirt, absolutely love it. I feel like I would prefer this with a top something like this. I definitely way prefer the way that this top looks with it. It just looks a bit more cash. I like the shape of the skirt. It fits me really well. It is definitely a true to size, size eight. I'm definitely gonna wear this skirt out in the summer. Next up, this is also one of my favorite items. We've got a little dress. It is this black jumper dress. It's kind of like ribbed with obviously the white stripes around it. And there's also white stripes on the sleeves. And the sleeves are kind of like raw cut scalloped a little bit very cute the whole thing is very tight fitted it is a bodycon dress it's not too long but it's also not too short there's not much else to say about it other than this would be so easy to wear i got this in a size small slash medium for 25 pound i think i'm gonna wear this a lot so this is how i probably style this dress I love a jumper dress and a knee-high boot. These boots are actually from Pretty Little Thing. I absolutely love them, they're so comfortable. It's got nice long sleeves, I love a high neck. I'm loving the sporty vibe with this. I probably could have sized down because it is like a little bit roomy, but that's because of the nature of the material, it's just quite stretchy. For me, this is just the right length. I really like this dress and I like the white bag with it. I didn't really think about putting this with it until I put the dress on, but I think again, it's a nice little contrast. This bag is proving to be very versatile. Love it, I feel like you'd be very glam, but also quite cash in this outfit. The next outfit, we're going back to a very casual vibe. I thought I would try out another pair of Miss Pap jeans because you can never have too many jeans in your wardrobe. So the ones I chose were these, well they look really small on camera, but again, the stretch in them, I just love it. I'm a big fan of that. You can eat as much as you want and your jeans just cater to it. These jeans were £35, so quite a standard price for a pair of jeans. They've got rips in the knees, but what I really liked was the end of them. The end of them are kind of like distressed. They are very skinny. You're definitely not gonna get any baggy ankles with these. You could wear them with a bodysuit or a crop top. I just feel these are a very versatile pair of jeans and I got these in a size eight. And to kind of go with them, I didn't like pick this top out and think that would look nice with the jeans. But now that I've like, looked at everything, I think these would look really nice with these jeans. It is this the little crop top with a frill around the bottom and a frill around the sleeves. It's not really something that I would have like picked out on the shelf. But on the website, it looks really cute. She's got it with black ripped jeans and it looks quite like not too girly, a little bit edgy. It's 15 pounds. Again, it comes in many different colors, but I really like the white one for the summer. I could imagine this with like some high-waisted ripped shorts. I think that would look really cute. And then also with this outfit, oh, this bag is dreamy. Look at the beauty of that. Look at her shimmer and shine. So this is like a dusty pink velvet bag. It's got gold detailing. The strap, obviously you can wear it like this with the straps an equal length, or you could wear it with like a nice little dress on a night out or if you're going out for dinner or something and you can have it as a crossbody bag. Absolutely love that. But it's actually quite a nice size handbag for like if you're going shopping or something. It's got a little zip on the back and then obviously it's got this fastening at the front but then it's also zipped which I really like because I get really paranoid about people dipping into my bag. And then on the inside it's got a little pocket on this side, it's got a zipped pocket on that side and then all this space in the middle. I think this bag looks a lot more expensive than it was. This was £21, but it's now £30. So I think if you wait around, Miss Pap do quite a lot of sales and their sales are good. The only thing that lets it down is the noise of the inside. Like, listen to this. I just think that gives away that it's not actually an expensive bag a little bit. I love it, I am so happy with this and I'm so excited to use it. How cute would it look on a little day out with this little outfit? Oh, I love it. This outfit's a weird one for me because I like the way this outfit looks, just not on me. Because again, with the jeans, we've got the same issue of the rip being too high. So I would say if you are a tall girl or if you've got long legs like I have, 
then Miss Pat probably isn't the place for you to get jeans to be honest. And again, this is my fault, but I also didn't realise that these aren't high-waisted jeans, or at least I don't think they are. They don't feel high-waisted compared to other ones that I've got, but it's such a shame because I really like the bottoms of them. They are really nice and skinny. I really like the distressed hem. The top, again, is one that I like, but not on me. I think I could have done with a size bigger to be honest because it feels quite like restricting and quite tight, but I still love the bag like so much. I can imagine this like in the summer going on a little picnic. So I have mixed feelings about this outfit. The next thing I picked up actually isn't part of a specific outfit, but look how cute these heels are. You don't even understand. I've been looking for some feathered heels with a block heel for the longest time because none of them come with a chunky heel like this and I need that in my life. So I'm so happy I found these. These were 30 pounds. I'm so excited to wear them. I've tried them on and they feel so delicate on your feet. So my next outfit starts off quite plain, quite simple. It is just a pair of plain black high-waisted jeans. I like to test these out from a few different brands because I find that a lot of black jeans fade really quickly. A lot of them aren't skinny enough. They've got a little bit of a stretch, not as much as the other jeans, but they are a little bit stretchy. I got these again in a size eight and they were 25 pounds. And then to go with them, I thought this top would look really nice. It is this mustard yellow blouse. It is floral. Two things that I don't wear is mustard yellow and floral prints. However, something just drew me to this. I'm definitely picturing this with a tan. I think on my pale skin, this might make me look a bit washed out. I can't actually find the price of this on the website right now, but I'll put the price here. And then to go with this, this might be a little bit controversial. Pink earrings. Okay, on the camera, that looks like it doesn't match at all. I think we're gonna have to try it with it, but like the pink in it, is virtually exactly the same colour in some parts. So I think if I'm feeling a little bit bold, I might really like these earrings with this blouse, but I might also be a bit scared by them. And these earrings were four pounds. I feel like it might look like there's quite a lot going on with this outfit. That's because there is, but actually, I really like it. It's quite out of my comfort zone because of the colour, because I'm blonde, because of the pattern, because of the colour clash with the earrings, but I actually think, I think these earrings with this top are either going to be a love or a hate kind of relationship. Some of you might love it, some of you might hate it. I personally really like it, I think it brings out the pink in the top. The black jeans actually fit me really nicely. I've just paired it with these heels, also from New Look. And then my final outfit is a more casual one. Oh, there has been a lot of items in this haul. So first of all, we have another denim skirt. This one isn't as high-waisted, but I really like the colour of this. Again, it looks quite bright on camera, but it's actually quite a muted red. Again, it's a bit distressed. It looks like it's going to fit well. I've got a size 8 in this, and this was £20. I think if you put this with some little black trainers, and a little black t-shirt such as this one. This is the only t-shirt that I got from Miss Pap. It is this black one which has some writing on. Avenue Montaigne means nothing to me. Very easy to wear in the summer and this t-shirt was £15. Okay, so this is what this outfit looks like. I do really like this. I've put this little belt on from ASOS. I feel like it makes it look a lot more finished. Again, got my little white vans on. This outfit is definitely a winner for me. So that is all the items I got. Overall, I would say I am very impressed with the quality of Miss Pap. It is a very trendy website. I didn't think I was cool enough for it, but I managed to pick out things that are like a little bit out of my comfort zone, but not entirely. So if you're also wanting to like push yourself out of your comfort zone a little bit, I would definitely recommend Miss Pap. Like I said, I think there's a reason that lots of bloggers rave about Miss Pap. I'm surprised it's taken me this long to try it actually, but I'm really glad I did because I feel like now, this will be one of my main websites that I go to. I also got next day delivery on the bits that I ordered and that came like without a problem. So I would recommend the next day delivery. It was 5 dollars which is one of the higher prices I've paid for next day delivery. But I mean, I'm sure they do like deals on their website on delivery and stuff. My rating would be that I 100% think that Miss Pap is worth spending your hard earned money on. Honestly, I think one of the most impressive clothing websites I found. But anyway, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. This is probably the biggest haul I've ever done on my channel and don't forget that all of the items featured in this video are linked down in the description below. Thank you so much to Miss Pap for gifting me some of these items, it was very kind of you. Let me know in the comments down below what is your favourite item from this haul, what can you see yourself rocking? Do subscribe to see my future try on hauls, I've got a few more coming up for you. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye! Bye.